What's going on, Fishaholics? Here in the Montauk Lighthouse parking lot. I did the quick wrap around and just check out the conditions, check out the water. Conditions are mint right now. So I'm launching the kayak and I'm getting out there. I'm gonna try and make something happen here. The tide isn't really right. I mean, it's getting towards the end of the incoming, the flood tide, but it's just really flat, very little wind. So let's get loaded up. That's our clearing. Let's go. Oh, big wave. Woo! Let's start trolling the Fishaholic Twisty Tube. Let me show you uh, my setup real quick. Basically, it is uh, probably like seven, eight feet of, of 60 pound fluorocarbon. Then I got a three way swivel here. Tide's ripping pretty good, so I'm gonna clip on four ounces of weight. And if you think that's a lot, to tell you the truth, I fished the same rig with eight ounces because uh, that's sometimes what you need to get down in this current. Looks pretty good. Just gotta give my tube here a little, a little bend so it swims through the water like a champ and catches me a giant. All right, no bites on my first pass. I'm gonna do one more pass, but I gotta go up tide. I don't know if I'll leave the tube on or maybe switch to the bucktail. Might be getting kind of late already to try and make a lure change, but we gotta go up tide and make another pass. Fish on, right here. Oh yeah, just dropped it right behind the kayak. And this fish smashed it. I don't know what this is. Kinda feels like a bass, but how shallow he hit it. I'm thinking it might be a blue. Okay, no, it's a bass. Too heavy not to be a bass. This is a surprise catch right here. Surprise catch to christen the new kayak. Oh. Nice fish. Nice bass, nice bass. Oh, not a giant, what? I thought he was gonna be like 20 pounds. I think he's like, he's like 15 or something. Caught him out here on Jones Reef. He hit so close to the boat. I mean, I'm, I probably only had maybe like, I don't know, probably, probably only like 15 yards out behind the kayak. Nothing huge, but uh, maybe you got a pattern going here. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Woo! Let's get back on him on the Fishaholic Twisty Tube. And I was actually thinking about switching to the parachute, and then I was like, you know what? You know, I have it tied on. It's already getting late. Sun's setting. I might as well just throw it down there, and this fish was on it. That's the beauty about fishing right before dark, is you're going to have fish moving shallow, and they're going to be moving up in the water column. And they're gonna be hitting and feeding like that. All right, let's get it back. Uh, actually, I can't get it back down there just yet. I gotta go back up tide. 
probably about 50 yards. Oh, there's a big fish. Really big fish. It's just dead weight. Holy moly. Okay, good fish. No, he came off. Oh, he came off, man. I had a feeling that would happen. Dang it. Lost that fish because I turned the kayak. I turned the kayak and I drifted towards him. And uh, he swam towards me. Dang it. Oh, all right. All right, I guess it happens, it happens. Let's, uh, let's get back down there. I just gotta change out the GoPro battery. Maybe if I didn't set the hook like a pansy either, I probably wouldn't have lost that fish. Probably should have set it like one or two more times. First time in the kayak, I'm rusty. Well, not first time in the kayak, but first time, you know, back off the lighthouse trolling in the kayak. I gotta get back in my rhythm and not uh, screw up on big fish like that. This is my light rod here too, so that, that fish, you know, could have been like, you know, 30 pounds or so, 20 pounds maybe. Usually I have a lot bigger rod and bigger reel. I can really, you know, gain ground on those fish. I actually thought I was snagged in the bottom. The fish kind of hit it like really, really slow and lethargic kind of just like start you know the rod just kind of bent over slowly weird hit weird hit I don't know if you guys can see this big boil here that's current washing over a huge boulder that right there is I think where I got that big bite oh there he is heavy fish what I'm gonna do though is I'm pedaling forward setting the hook on this guy hard making sure I don't lose this one really heavy fish oh yeah whoa oh retaliation right here retaliation okay it's key here to keep pedaling forward this current's going this way I gotta get this fish in without letting myself drift to him and him swim to me too fast or the hook's gonna come out. I really wish I had my bigger rod right now. It feels like I'm reeling in a sea turtle. I don't even think he's that big. He's probably only 20 pounds or something. Maybe 30 if I'm lucky. Watch it be like a 20 pound blue. This is what the last fish felt like that I lost. Same kind of weight. This light rod makes them feel huge. Whoa! He's towing the kayak. He's turning it for me. Alright, stay on there, baby. Stay on there. Look at that rod. He's like bending it in half, this fish. This is the crucial part here. All right. Yeah. Woo! On the Fishaholic red dip to green tube. Whoa, look at that. Look at that baby right there. Caught old mama here. That's like, uh, I don't know, maybe 25 pounder. Not huge, but probably what, you know, I lost, uh, you know, a little earlier. Whew, 
what a way to end it right there, Fishaholics. Man, you know, lost the second big fish, but uh, strong retaliation, a lucky retaliation. I got that third one. You know, the third one was probably like 25, maybe like 28 pounds if you push it, but nice fish, biggest fish of the season for me so far. Biggest fish in the new kayak. And if you guys are interested in the kayak, I'll put the link down in the description so you can check it out. And uh, this is also the twisty tube. I don't know if you can see it. You know, obviously it's dark out. And, uh, you know, I'm using the light by the, the wash down hose. But, uh, yeah, this is the twisty tube. This is a 16 inch one. And uh, I'll put the link down in the description if you guys are interested in picking it up. And uh, this is my little field and stream tech spec. I don't know, I bought this rod for uh, umbrella rig fishing for like freshwater, like largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and uh, it's a killer, like, you know, saltwater striper rod, like for like lighter tackle stuff. Uh, today I was kind of almost outmatched by those big fish. I should have had something bigger, but uh, hey, got the job done, and then I'm using my big game, Ab Garcia. Uh, which one is this? This is the Ambassador. And I'll put the links down in the description for all the, you know, for all this tackling equipment and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm looking forward to more videos. I'm probably going to be out in that same exact spot before crack of dawn tomorrow. So hopefully I can get some more. I'll see you guys in the next video and never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys next time. Busted.